hello everyone welcome back again to another video i hope you all are doing wonderfully well today i want to share with you how i made this delicious lye soup recipe this is a salted fish and meat lye soup recipe it's so delicious and i know you're going to prepare some after watching this video and so if you haven't subscribed to my channel kindly do subscribe and be part of this beautiful family let's get started so to begin with i'm going to boil my vegetables so in the pot i'm going to add in my pepper fresh tomatoes my chopped carrots i'll also go in with some chopped onions as well i'll list everything i use and the quantity of everything in the description box for you to check it out i'll go in with my water add in enough water to cook this okay allow this to cook until it is soft enough to blend so in a different pot i'll go ahead and add in my beef i've washed everything well i also have some salted beef and salted pork and also to seasoning the meat i'll go in with some garlic and ginger paste i'll also go in with some tomato paste you can omit one of the tomatoes because i have fresh tomatoes in there already okay so i'll go in with some homemade seasoning salt and some pepper soup spice mix i'll also add in a salt to taste and the salt is always to your taste add just a little bit of water to it and cover it and allow it to steam until it is nice and very juicy or the meat is nice and tender okay so next we are back to check on our vegetables after 10 minutes and it's looking already it's very soft enough for us to blend so we're going to allow this to cool down completely before we blend it but before we blend these vegetables today i'm going to add in locust beans or dawa dawa to my blended ingredients and it will take your soup taste to another level trust me on this one so we are back to check on our meat and it's doing all perfect right now but the stock on the meat is not very thick so i'm going to give it a very good mix cover it and allow it to cook for extra five to ten more minutes for the stock on the meat to thicken up a little bit all right so after extra 10 more minutes the stock on the meat has taken up a little bit and this is the right thickness that i will be going for you can allow it to thicken up more if you want okay the more this thickens up the more your soup will taste really good so i'm going to go in with my blended vegetables and the water you add to your soup depends on how you want it if you want it to take no need adding in enough water but if you want it light you can add in more water if you want i'll go in with my dry fish this is a salted fish you can use fresh fish any other fish that you feel comfortable in it feel free to use it okay and at this point you can check if the salt content is okay if it's not okay you can add in more if you want because we added in more water so the salt content will reduce a little bit now cover the soup and allow it to cook for about 30 to 40 minutes until it is nice and ready and so let me use this opportunity to thank you all my returning subscribers and new babies right here you guys are too much high five to everyone thank you for liking my video sharing and commenting on my videos fam i am truly grateful and if you haven't subscribed yet kindly do subscribe to my channel and while you're subscribing don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so that anytime i post a new video you'll be among the first person to be notified thank you so much for doing that and after 30 minutes of cooking the soup look how juicy and appetizing it looks very delicious it's ready so now all what is left is for us to enjoy this with our fufu <laughs> you all know i don't joke with my fufu thank you so much for watching this video to this point and if you watch this video to this point that means you are a proud foodie member thank you for watching 